Good evening. A few minutes ago, the United States ambassadors to every country in the world told the leaders of those nations what I am about to tell you. It's a bit complicated, so it will take some time, so I hope you will bear with me, hear what I have to say. A little over a year ago, two American astronomers, Marcus Wolf and Leo Biedemann, working on a mountaintop in Arizona, saw something Nobody's in the night sky that caused them great concern. A comet. But the comet was, well, there was a remote possibility that the comet was on a path that could bring it into direct contact with the Earth. Now, we get hit all the time by rocks and meteors, some of them the size of cars, some no bigger than your hand. But the comet we discovered is the size of New York City, from the north side of Central Park to the Battery, about seven miles long. Put another way, this comet is larger than Mount Everest. It weighs 500 billion tons. Now, if this comet continues on its path around the sun and keeps its present course, sometime on August 16th, roughly a year from now, there's a chance that we might have impact. So for the past eight months, the United States and Russia have been building the largest spaceship ever constructed. It's being built in orbit around the Earth, and we call it the Messiah. And right now, a team of American astronauts and one Russian are at Cape Canaveral in Florida. In two months, they will leave on the shuttle Atlantis to board the Messiah. This is the crew that will stop the comet. I'd like the world to meet some extraordinary people. First, is Mission Commander Oren Monash. Commander, would you introduce us to your team? I would be honored, sir. Pilot Andrea Baker, Medical Officer Gus Partenza. From Russia, Nuclear Specialist Colonel Mikhail Tulchinsky. Navigator Mark Simon and rendezvous pilot Spurgeon Tanner. Hello, Mr. Hello, Mr. President. Mr. President. Captain Tanner, you flew six shuttle missions. You were the last man to walk on the moon, weren't you, sir? Yes, sir, uh, but Orrin here will be doing most of the flying on this one. I'll just be taking us down to the, uh, you know, the comet surface. Well, it's good to know we're going to have your kind of experience up there, Captain. Thank you, sir. Godspeed to you all. We're counting on you. Thank you, sir. Our society will continue as normal. Work will go on. You will pay your bills. <laughs> there will be no hoarding. There will be no sudden profiteering. I'm freezing all wages, all prices. What a bottle of water cost you yesterday, it will cost you tomorrow.